We hear it every summer. Hot cars can be deadly for children. This July, 11 children died after being left in hot vehicles, making it the worst July for hot car deaths in nearly a decade. Tonight, Three on Your Side's Jim Donovan has information on new legislation that aims to keep children safe. I have not forgiven myself. Miles and Carol Harrison always wanted a child, overjoyed when they adopted Chase, but on a busy 90 degree day in July of 2008, Miles forgot to drop Chase off at daycare, leaving him in the back seat of his car while he went to work. And it's heartbreaking because I did it. I killed my son. Nobody thinks it will happen to them until it happens. Chase's death was one of more than 700 heat stroke fatalities of children left in cars since 1998, an average of 37 per year. The first seven months of this year have been the worst in terms of heat related child car deaths since 2010. All cars ought to include sensors that can very simply save lives. To prevent these tragedies, Connecticut Senator Richard Blumenthal introduced legislation that would require car makers to install sensor technology, alerting drivers to a baby left in a car seat. Consumers should want this product, just as they do seat belts and airbags. General Motors began offering a similar sensor for some models this year, but the Alliance of Automobile Manufacturers says the proposed mandate would miss the car buyers who need it most because so few parents of young children buy new cars. Now, Senator Blumenthal believes the cost of adding sensors would be minimal. He expects this measure will have strong bipartisan support and hopes to see the safety feature on new cars as as soon as 2019. In the meantime, if you travel with young children in your car, look before you lock. Reporting for three on your side, I'm Jim Donovan.